Happy Van Winkle. Not gonna have to start locking my desk drawer now, am I? Hey, does this seem odd to you? What? So, our user numbers have been growing for days, but our coin value is flat. It hasn't budged at all. I thought the two would be correlated at least a little bit. Yeah, should be. Sorry, I don't mean to rain on the parade. I find parades to be impotent displays of authoritarianism. Whose bag is this? Oh. Um, Scoot over. Oh. Monica, hey. Hey. Hey, I was just coming in early to clean up for the custodial staff. When did you get here? We never left. We? All right. Good to go. You were both here all night? Our coin price wasn't growing with our user numbers, so we coded a diagnostic tool to go through the ledger and figure out exactly where our users are coming from. Yes, we coded it. You're smoking my cigarettes, asshole. In a public workspace in the state of California, no less. Shall we? <clears throat> this breaks our users down by which developer signed them on. So each bar is one of our seven sept pipers. Wait, why are there eight bars? Who, hmm. Who's that? No idea. But whoever it is, they're the reason for most of our new user growth. I mean, so some non-piper out there is signing up users to our network en masse? How'd they get access to our system? Without a key from us, the only way in is to steal our software. But no one's stolen our software. Except for... Oh, shit. Cool. Uh, listen, uh, Guilfoyle wants to ask you a question. No, I don't want to talk to Guilfoyle. He's a racist and a witch. I'm not a witch. Now spit out the kimchi and tell me what the fuck is going on with our network. Fuck you. I'll tell you nothing. Marling, don't us outside. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But I want to move back into the house. I want to come home. Wait, what? It's not that big a deal. I mean, Jin Yang can just take Ehrlich's old room, so. I don't give a fuck about that. So Jin Yang said Gavin Belson tried to buy our stolen software? Yes, but before he could, he was outmaneuvered by a Chinese man named Yao. Yao? Who the fuck is Yao? This guy. He's a Chinese manufacturer who just announced a partnership with, guess who? Lori Bream. She just led a $200 million round for something called YaoNet. So Lori and Yao are manufacturing phones and signing them onto our network. But why? Why would they want to help us? Oh, shit. They're not helping us. They're attacking us. It's a 51% attack. Has to be. Oh, I'm sorry, what? A 51%... A 51% attack. The beauty of our decentralized internet is that no one controls it. But if 51% were controlled by one entity, like, say, Lori and Yao, they could rewrite the rules for everyone. They can delete all of our users, all of our developer apps, crash our coin. This would be the end of Pied Piper. Fuck. Monica. <laughs> Cheers. For me? our coin price, right? It's going up. <laughs> well, look at that. Come on! Jared finally broke him. Get it. Yeah. I like you. No, no, no. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.